guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys know that I just did a video on the wet look and I decided that it would be uh, more beneficial if I followed up with that video with how I refresh my wash and go. Um, because with the wet look, it only lasts for about a day. Um, for some people, it doesn't even last for a day. It may even last for just a couple hours. So mine's lasted probably like a day. Um, but my curls are still here. They're still kind of popping. So I wanna show you guys how I would refresh my hair. I'm going to try to fix this up. This is really bad actually. I feel a lot of frizz. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to fix it up and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that. So the first thing when you are doing a wash and go, you always wanna start with water. And when you are refreshing your wash and go, you always wanna start with water because that's going to get the product to reactivate so that you don't have to put a lot of more product into your hair. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I turn my head and hold it high, but it's making me shiver. Okay, so I have the water on my hair and now I'm just going to add a conditioner. Um, I'm gonna be using the conditioner by Nourish by Shantae, the Pink Honeysuckle line, and I'm completely almost out. This is actually ridiculous. Ugh. See, I'm not just saying this because it's my own conditioner, but you know you have a really good conditioner when you just literally don't wanna let it go. So I just want to put the conditioner on the inside of my hair because the inner part of my hair, no one's going to see, but you also don't want that part to be super frizzy. So I definitely feel the product that's in my hair already. I'm also going to just take a little bit more of my leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to put it on the ends of my hair. Okay, so I'm not gonna touch the outer part of my hair too much because I don't want it to get very frizzy. So I'm just gonna allow it to dry. I'm just gonna let my hair kind of like sit for a little bit. So my hair is pretty much um, dry so I'm gonna go ahead and add my products now if you're working with the old wash and go you want to not put too much more product in your hair just because you probably have a lot of product from the first day that you did your wash and go um, this side is still a little damp so it looks a little off right now but it'll dry so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my edges together My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around When it comes crashing down All I need is not to feel so much alone So step inside my zone Baby, you can give me everything I want Everything I want So I'm just holding my hair because I kind of want it to not be in my face. So I just put some edge control on my hair and I'm just going to hold it. I could put a scarf on my head, but I'm too lazy to get up. So this is, this is what we're doing today. Ooh, 
hair is a lot bigger than what it was yesterday. Like, if you guys want to see my wet look video, click somewhere up here or up here. I don't know which side I'm going to put it on. But, um, and see how like flat it was at first and compared to today where I've kind of picked it out and it's just got a lot of frizz and stuff. And I don't know, I like it. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my hair just because it looks a little dry towards the ends. Like my wash and go is super curly and it's very big. It has a lot of volume. So you guys, this turned out very well. I'm surprised that the wet look went from like super compact and laid down to this. So as you guys can see, it's super easy to refresh a wash and go. I don't do anything too crazy. You don't need a lot of products because you already have products in your hair and you don't want your hair to get built up from putting just products on top of products on top of products. So make sure that when you do your wash and go refresher that you either put everything in your water bottle and do it that way or you just use water and like maybe one or two other products. Do not go in full fledged with more products and make your hair look way down and also cause a lot of build up. Comment down below your thoughts and I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.